can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given p of x equals 2 times x to the fourth power plus a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d. Also given that p of 1 is 4, p of 2 is 7, p of 3 is 12, and p of 4 is 19. Now the question is what is the numerical value of p of 5? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given this polynomial p of x and also given p of 1, p of 2, p of 3, p of 4, then the goal is to find the numerical value of p of 5. Now, the general solution to this kind of question is to let p of x be equal to y. So this is just y equals this entire expression and to have a point that corresponds to x and y. For example, p of 1 equals to 4. So if you plug in x equals 1, you get 4. Or simply, we can say that if x is 1, y is 4. Also, we will do the same thing to the other points. If x is 2, y is 7. If x is 3, y is 12. And if x is 4, y is 19. Now, we can use this point, 1 comma 4. So when we plug in all x with 1, we get equal to 4. So I have an equation, 4 equals 2 times 1 raised to the fourth power plus a times 1 cubed plus b times 1 squared plus c times 1 plus d. Also, we will do the same thing to this point, 2 comma 7, and we get this equation, respectively. And we will do the same thing to 3 comma 12. If you plug in x equals 3, you get 12. And you can also do this to the last point, 4 comma 19. If you plug in all x with equal to 4, you get equal to 19. Now, our question becomes solving linear equations with four unknowns. This is a valid solution, but this solution is technically takes time or it takes more time than the other method. Because as you can see, you need to do a lot of elimination method. You need to eliminate the variable D, variable C, variable B, and solve for the value of A, get value of B, get value of C, and etc. But this method works, but it takes time. So what we're going to do is to use another method. Now, first, observe the given information. So 1 and 4. Notice, 1 squared plus 3 is simply equal to 4. 2 and 7. 2 squared plus 3 is simply equal to 7. 3 squared plus 3 is simply equal to 12. And 4 squared plus 3 equals 19. So this is the pattern that I see in this kind of question. Now, how will you apply this and solve for the value of p of x or simply equal to y. Now, our polynomial, we can rewrite this as follows. So we have 2 times these 4 factors, y4, because our polynomial is a quartic polynomial. So we need to have 4 factors. And this is what we see earlier, the pattern. We have x squared plus 3. This x this 1, 2, 3, and 4 are our x, and we need to add 3 to get the value of y. Now, the only thing is, we need to make this expression equal 0 when we plug in x equals 1, x equals 2, x equals 3, and x equals 4. So, one of its factors must be equal to x minus 1. So, when you plug in x equals 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so the whole thing becomes 0. And the other factor simply equal to x minus 2. So again, when you plug in x equals 2, this term becomes 0. So this is just 2 squared plus 3. So the last two factors simply equal to x minus 3 and x minus 4. Now if you plug in x equals 1, 
for x equals 2 or x equals 3 or x equals 4, this part becomes 0. And this is just 1 squared plus 3, 2 squared plus 3, 3 squared plus 3, and 4 squared plus 3. And there you have it. This is now our p of x. This y is simply our p of x. And to get the value of p of 5, let's replace all of this x with 5. Like this. And this is the value of p of 5. Now, let's simplify this. This is 4, this is 3, this is 2, this is 1, or simply equal to 4 factorial. So 2 times 4 factorial or simply equal to 24. 5 squared is 25, bring down 3. 2 times 24 is 48. 25 plus 3, this is 28. And 48 plus 28 simply equal to 76. This is y, and this is also the value of p of 5. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this polynomial p of x and p of 1 equals 4, p of 2 equals 7, p of 3 equals 12, p of 4 equals 19, then the value, the numerical value of p of 5, simply equal to 76. And as always, we are done.